Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's gonna to be a quick instructional video about um, cutting your coax to nulls um, or tuning your coax, whatever. I don't wanna, this is not gonna be a, a college level course in AC circuits. This is just, you found my video because I'm assuming you wanna know how to do it and you want it done correctly and you wanna sift through. You don't want a 45 minute video explaining things. You wanna know how to do it. So uh, all my jumpers in my shop are six foot or 12 foot, depending on the coax, depending on what I'm doing and the length I need, et cetera, et cetera. Today I was making some jumpers and it occurred to me that um, people would wanna know this because it's not hard to find the information, but it, it's hard to sift through like an hour long video about how to use an MFJ. Um, I just figured this would be easier. I'll make a quick video. So again, real short, um, what do you need to know how to do this? So. You've decided that for whatever reason, you wanna cut your coax to a null, right? So you're gonna to wanna to get, you're gonna to wanna to make uh, half wave jumpers and quarter wave jumpers. How long do we cut our coax? So this is what you do. Take this number, divide it by your frequency. Example, 468 divided by center band, 27205, or whatever frequency you're working with, doesn't matter. The result is going to be 17.2 feet. We're expressing this in feet. It's not in meters. I'm sorry for you guys in the UK. Now what? We want a half wave jumper. It would be 17.2 feet long or a quarter wave jumper would be 8.6 feet long. Well, wait a minute. Everybody always says use a six foot jumper or a 12 foot jumper. Where do we get those numbers from? Next, you need to know your manufacturer's velocity factor for the coax you're using. This coax is 69.5 velocity factor. RG213, very common coax, 69.5%. Look up your manufacturer's specs for whatever coax you're using, okay? Plug the number into the formula. Take your half wave or quarter wave, we're doing a quarter wave here. So 8.6 feet times 0.695, equals about six feet. Amazing, that's where we get our six foot number from. Every coax is different. Some are 80%, some are 88 and a half percent, some are 90%. Google your coax and follow this formula for whatever you're doing. Now what we do is, when we figure out whether we're doing a quarter wave jumper or a half wave, whatever, I always cut a little extra. So it says here we're going to need six feet. If you cut it right to six feet, you're going to be pretty dang close, uh, depending on the manufacturer. But what I do is I usually cut six and a half feet or whatever. I think I measured this. It was six feet, 10 inches, a little, little bit too long. But we'll show you how to make sure it's perfect using an antenna analyzer. This is an MFJ 259B. It's probably 15 years old. Works a treat. You can do this with a VNA. You can do this with a rig expert. You can do this with any type of antenna analyzer. So first things first, you put on an end on one end of the coax. Make sure you actually, you know, solder it and everything. Make sure you got soldered ends. And this, I actually use the right reducers in there and I solder everything, but you know, whatever. Make sure your connector is fully seated into whatever analyzer you're using. Make sure the teeth are fully engaged. Connect it, turn it on. I'm using an MFJ. I think everybody's brother cousin has one of these. You can get one, you can borrow one. Get your hands on an MFJ. Now, let me see if I can prop this up a little bit so you can see it better here. Can you see that? All right. So I've got the MFJ. You just go through the mode here. Go through your modes to get to impedance R and X. Now I've got the MFJ set already to center band, right? 27200. I want to see where the coax is resonant. Now I know that I cut this longer on purpose so I can trim it back. So it's probably going to be resonant somewhere down low, like in the 26s or something. So let's just check. And sure enough, you can see it dropping. So I'm not going to move the MFJ, but it, you can see I'm at 26160 and <clears throat> our reactance is at four. And back to where we normally go. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Woo. 
It's a cold, rainy day here in New York. Uh, 27,200 or so. We're a little higher. So basically, this coax is resonant at a lower frequency, so it's longer in length. So we're going to shorten it to move it up in frequency. So we're at 27,200 or so. We're going to start cutting. Let's take a half an inch off. Dropped. See that? Now we're at six. Now we're at five. Now we're at four. Now we're at three. And just to check again, if you go down low, see we're still a little long because it's really good at 26,150, but we're getting there. Just put it roughly in the middle. Okay, let's keep cutting. Okay, we're dropping. Now, we're very close. Keep cutting. We're going to see these zero out. Or be very close to zero. You see we're getting there. We're moving up in band. Now it's 26,750. We're almost perfect, so we're getting up there. Now I had to cut off a lot because I started very long. Usually you can get this to zero. Although I'm going to stop here. But that's pretty close. You can usually actually get these to go zero or go blank, actually. But you are pretty much going to be resonant now. Now... What I'm going to do is, I'll measure this, and I'm going to bet you we're going to be close to six feet. Very close. Precision measuring device here. Look at that. You're within a half inch of six feet. So if I had cut this coax, now that I've made one jumper, you know, with um, with this RG316, this particular brand and this order that I got this lot, you know, I know that for the future, all I need to do is cut my jumpers to six foot one inch, six foot two inches, and then start trimming them back. But that's all there is to it. It only takes a couple minutes. You do this and your coax will be invisible in your system. Enjoy.